What's up everybody, welcome to Late Game Crypto. My name is Josh and I'm here to help you make smart investments for late game gains. And as always, keep in mind that I am a debater here to present to you the best arguments for crypto. I am not a financial advisor providing you with financial advice. In today's video, we're going over a few reasons to show that cryptocurrency is actually showing historic moves upwards, despite Bitcoin showing generally bearish trends in the past couple of months. Outside of the crypto space and the market trends that are currently taking place, there are a lot of big players that are gearing up to enter the space, and they're going to be pouring a ton of capital into Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and that can only mean upward gain come here in the next two to three months, maybe. So let's start with my first indicator on historic moves for cryptocurrency, which is that countries and governments are getting into crypto. By now, you've probably heard that El Salvador has adopted Bitcoin as legal tender, and that's huge and historic. There is a lot of skepticism among El Salvador citizens uh, in the process of adopting this, but each individual El Salvador citizen is being provided with $30 in Bitcoin provided to them by their government in preparation for the official adoption that will take place on September 7th. What you may not have heard about is that Paraguay is gearing up to follow. Uh, they presented, I believe yesterday, a bill to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender, and Latin America, this, this seems to be a trend because Argentina, Venezuela, and Mexico are all talking about the same thing, though there haven't really been any official moves in, in those other countries. And to take it one tiny little step further, there are a couple of states in the U.S. that are taking some steps to uh, provide some more legal clarity in the area of crypto space, which is much needed in the U.S. and around the world. Early last month, Texas passed Bill 4474, the Virtual Currency Bill, which effectively extends key business laws and regulations to Bitcoin miners. This is some much needed legal clarity that has been brought to the crypto space, and it has caused Rockdale, Texas to be the self-proclaimed cryptocurrency capital of the U.S. And as big as that is, it should not be overshadowed by what happened in Wyoming, which is the passing of a historic Dow LLC law that has never been passed anywhere else in the world. Basically, what this does is legally, it allows decentralized autonomous organizations to be treated legally as LLCs. Functionally, this extends protection to organizers of DeFi products and other blockchain-based services when they would otherwise be treated as individuals. I do realize that a lot of that was a little bit oversimplified and, and, and kind of hard to understand, but the basic point that I'm making is that governments are getting on board to get cryptocurrency legitimized. And my second point for historic moves for cryptocurrency is that the corporate world is getting ready to pour a ton of capital into the cryptocurrency space like never before. Last week, my wife got this email letting her know that Bitcoin would become an acceptable payment for people to use to purchase Starbucks with, and they would be incentivizing this move with a free $5 Starbucks gift card just for getting into the space and creating a Bitcoin wallet. People freaking love Starbucks. I mean, come on, there's a freaking Starbucks on every corner. If you tell people that they can get one to two free Starbuckses just for signing up and maybe purchasing some Bitcoin to buy their coffee with, there's no telling what they will do. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Furthermore, Visa has announced some data that they have been collecting, and they have revealed that $1 billion in transactions have taken place with Visa cards backed by cryptocurrency. And as a result of this data, Visa has announced that they are partnering with 50 of the largest cryptocurrency organizations in order to provide Visa-based services so that people can use cryptocurrency to make purchases in their everyday life. And to top it all off, there are 650 banks in the U.S. that are gearing up to open up Bitcoin purchases to their clients by the end of 2021. 
Some of the big players like U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America are, are already moving to open up this option as soon as possible. And some of these banks were vehemently against Bitcoin in the past like five to 10 years. By the end of the year, 24 million people will be able to purchase Bitcoin at the click of the button without having to download some external app or exchange, and, and they'll just be able to have easy access to it. This kind of accessibility is not only historic in nature, but it, it can only mean good things for the cryptocurrency space. There is no way that this is going to end up in a negative effect on the market. Accessibility is only a good thing. And finally, my third point as to the historic moves that are being made in 2021, that third point is inflation. If you watched my last video on evaluating the US dollar as if it were a cryptocurrency, you'll know I talk a lot about the inflation that's happening in the US. But what I didn't talk about is how that fear is and will continue to drive people towards the cryptocurrency space especially now that we are seeing historic highs in the area of inflation since cryptocurrency has been created. For those of you that don't know, Bitcoin was created directly after the 2008 financial crisis as a result of the centralized system lying to us and screwing us all over. This year, cryptocurrency has seen the highest inflation rates that it has ever seen before, which may drive more people towards cryptocurrency more than ever before. In an attempt to avoid another financial crisis, cryptocurrency may be the escape that it was designed to be, and it may drive people that direction, especially if it's gonna become more accessible and easy to get into than ever before. So that's basically it. We're seeing history being made before our eyes and waves are moving towards the cryptocurrency space, including corporate money, including government money, and the accessibility is gonna be more than ever before. People are going to want to escape the financial harms that seem to be coming our way and cryptocurrency is going to be there for us. So if you have not yet gotten into the crypto space, I do have a few easy ways for you to get started. Just check my links down in the description below and you can get some bonuses along the way. And do remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose. Learn as much as you can in this space and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.